All right, thank you and uh, good afternoon. I'd like to uh, thank um, our chair of Charleston County Council, Dick Rawl, uh, chair of uh, Dorchester County Council, uh, Jay Byers, as well as uh, Mr. Chris Dobbs from the Charleston County School Board for being in attendance today. Uh, we're here to talk to you about Hurricane Michael. Um, Want to let you know that the Charleston County Emergency Operations Center moved to OpCon 3 today at noon. All Charleston County government offices will be closed tomorrow. That includes the libraries as well as the judicial complex. The Beesville Land Ferry will be closed to the public. So will the convenience centers. Recycling operations will not occur tomorrow, but will resume on Friday. Charleston County government has also opened up a shelter for those residents that feel that they need to get out of harm's way due to the impending impacts from Hurricane Michael. That shelter is located at 3765 Leeds Avenue in North Charleston. That shelter can accommodate residents as well as their household pets. We started transportation pickup operations today at noon to align with the opening of that shelter at noon as well. Residents that live near a car to bus stop can go to that bus stop and they can actually call 843-202-7904 and a bus will arrive at that location to bring them to a shelter. If you don't live near one of the car to bus stops, you can go to one of the many blue, uh, one of the many hurricane uh, pickup point locations marked by uh, our blue signs, blue and white signs, and you can call that same phone number again. It's 843-202-7904, and a bus will arrive and will bring you to the shelter. These services that began at noon will stop running at 7 p.m. this evening and may run tomorrow as well, weather conditions permitting. Uh, we've also activated the Charleston County Citizens Information Line. That phone number is 843-746-3900. That line will be open until 8 p.m. this evening and will resume operations tomorrow at 8 a.m. And those operations will conclude at 5 p.m. Uh, we're encouraging everyone to be safe. Obviously, if you have any non-emergency related calls, you can call the Charleston County Citizens Information Line. At this time, I'd like to turn the press conference over to Dorchester County Chairman Jay Byers. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I certainly appreciate the good job our staff's doing, and uh, certainly just want to be in prayer for our friends down in Florida. Uh, Dorchester County Emergency Operations Center will move to OpCon 3 at 5 p.m. today. Our school closures in Dorchester 4 and Dorchester 2, we will be closed tomorrow. Also, the Career and Technology Schools will be closed tomorrow. An announcement for schools on Friday will be, on, will be made tomorrow, Thursday afternoon at some point. Uh, the convenience sites in Dorchester County that are normally closed today on Wednesdays have been opened. So if you need to get rid of some garbage, the convenience sites are open until 6 p.m. tonight. They will be closed all day tomorrow. Uh, county operations is also closing down at 3 p.m. today as well. If you need to report down trees and power lines in Dorchester County, please call 873-5111 and let the county dispatch center know that information. If you need to report power outages, you can do so um, by uh, reporting that directly to your utility provider. Also, if you need up-to-date information in Dorchester County, please go to dorchestercountysc.gov slash Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L. Residents are encouraged just to secure loose items, things in your backyard, trampolines, things that would move in high winds. Just make sure that you secure things for your safety. Um, hopefully this will move through very quickly and we'll be back to business on Friday, but we certainly anticipate possible power outages. Just be prepared for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, I'm Chris Stobbs on behalf of the Charleston County School Board. I do want to let everyone know that we are keeping our neighbors down in Florida in our prayers. Um, this is going to be a very substantial storm, and I know we all prepared for our last storm, and fortunately we uh, 
made it through that one pretty much unscathed, but uh, I think we, those guys down there are going to get some pretty serious weather, and it's, it's going to be, so let's keep them in our prayers. So Charleston County School District has gone ahead and canceled school for tomorrow. This includes the after-school activities, sports, um, any of the other after-school programs. The idea here is that we want to make sure our kids are safe, so we're doing this just as an abundance of caution. Uh, the winds tomorrow, we're in the front right quadrant of the tornado, uh, there may be tornadoes in the front, front right quadrant of the hurricane, and uh, we just we just want to make sure everything's safe. The idea is pay attention to social media. I know we're all on social media, so you just pay attention to that, pay attention to the Twitter, and, and you'll see what we're going to be planning to do on Friday. Right now, the idea is that we will be open on Friday. This is a fast-moving storm, probably about 20 miles per hour. Hopefully, it'll be through the area quickly and cause minimal damage and certainly no, um, hopefully no loss of life or harm to people. Uh, the idea is as long as um, we don't have damage to our buildings and we have electricity, uh, we would be back in school starting on Friday. So everyone be safe out there. Keep our neighbors in your prayers. Thank you. Good afternoon, I'm Ben Almquist, Director of Emergency Preparedness for Berkeley County. Um, as we all know, every storm brings its own set of concerns and potential impacts. Uh, with this, we are um, monitoring for winds and uh, potential tornadoes in our area. Uh, because of that, we want all of our residents to be prepared for potential power outages. Uh, regarding closures, uh, Berkeley County government offices will be closed tomorrow. Uh, the Berkeley County School District will also be closed. Uh, with the government offices, that includes uh, the Animal Center uh, and the Courthouse. Uh, the Landfill and uh, Oakley Convenience Center will open at 1 p.m. tomorrow. All other convenience centers will be closed all day. Uh, Berkeley County EPD has been working with the Sheriff's Office to monitor the storm. Uh, we will be delivering a joint message with the Sheriff this afternoon at 4 o'clock. Uh, we will continue to update citizens uh, throughout the duration of the storm. We are currently at OPCON Level 3, or excuse me, we're at OPCON Level 4. We will be moving to OPCON Level 3 today at 6 p.m. Um, this will essentially mean that we are stepping up our preparations and standing by for the storm's impacts. Um, if citizens have questions, you can contact Berkeley County Emergency Preparedness at 843-719-4166. Uh, as of right now, we do not anticipate opening any shelters, but we have made preparations in case that becomes necessary. Uh, I want to thank Dorchester and Charleston counties for working with us on this. Um, of course, the storm has moved very fast and it came upon us pretty quickly. Um, so the coordination has been very much appreciated. Thank you. Any questions? Everyone good? Okay. Ingrid, if you wouldn't mind, for the Spanish speaking community. Buenas tardes. Las oficinas gubernamentales del condado de Charlo estarán cerradas mañana. Este cierre incluirá también el centro judicial. El condado de Charleston abrió un refugio y comenzó las operaciones de transporte. El refugio está ubicado en 3765 Leeds Avenue y está abierto tanto para personas como para sus mascotas. Esperamos que los refugios estén abiertos hasta el viernes por la mañana, pero todo dependerá de los impactos de la tormenta. Si usted necesita transporte para trasladarse al refugio, diríjase a una parada de autobús carta. Si usted vive en un área donde no hay parada de autobús, Por favor, vaya a un punto de recogida con la señalización del huracán azul y llame al 843-202-7904 y solicite transporte. El servicio funcionará hasta las 7 de la noche y si las condiciones ambientales lo permiten, se arranodará el día de mañana. El condado de Charleston ha activado la línea de información ciudadana en español. El número es 843-746-3909. Repito. 843-746-3909 y estará disponible a partir de ahora hasta las 8 de la noche. Posiblemente mañana, también a las 8 de la mañana hasta las 8 de la noche. Gracias.